Transformation, a testimony by Candy Fink. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Life changes us, sometimes through heat, pressure, irritation, or being broken. But other times we go through long, quiet periods. We find ourselves waiting in the dark for something to happen. That makes me think about the butterflies I see in my garden. This insect starts out as a worm, although we give it a fancier name, caterpillar. It spends its days crawling around and eating. As it grows, it sheds its old skin for new ones. Often, caterpillars molt five times. While it might have interesting stripes and fuzzy hair, the caterpillar is anchored to the ground by gravity, just like we are. Then one day, the caterpillar spins a cocoon and literally disappears for a long time. Depending on what kind of caterpillar it is, it can be in the cocoon for 5 to 21 days. While inside, the caterpillar's tissue is broken down and a new structure is formed. This is the transformation stage. At last, the cocoon shell is broken open and a butterfly emerges. Fragile, colorful wings are unfurled and they test out the breeze. At last, the insect takes flight, no longer subject to gravity. It will take flight for the rest of its life, soaring and migrating to places it never imagined as a caterpillar. So how does this relate to you and me? Some days, I feel like a worm, anchored down by my responsibilities. I move through life, ever trying to meet my own needs. But then, a time of transformation comes. This often happens in the dark because I can't see what God is doing. Yet I'm being changed from the inside out. While waiting in my cocoon, I feel cramped and uncomfortable. I can't wait to get out. Finally, however, I feel myself breaking free. I see the light. I spread wings I didn't know I had. I gain altitude in a new perspective. I go places I could not have even dreamed of. I am transformed.
Cause this is your house, it's your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, it's your home.